Okay, so I already did my brows. I have a detailed eyebrow tutorial. Check the description box. I'm also going to link it somewhere up here. And I primed my eyes as well. To prime, I used my MAC. This is their Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. This is really good and it's going to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing. So I'm going to start with the eyes first. I'll be using my Huda Beauty um, Desert Dusk Palette again. I think I've only used this properly once on this channel. And the first color that I'm going to go in with is this one here called Blazing. So this is my MAC 224 blending brush and I'm going to start backing this color into this area here. So this is not my crease, this is my transition area. If you don't understand terms like transition and all that, I have a very detailed eyeshadow tutorial on this channel. It's an eyeshadow do's and don'ts. It explains everything. So I'm going to go in with this shade here, the amber hair. And this brush is a tapered crease brush by Makeup Addiction. So, so this one just goes into my crease. So my transition area is, you know, a lot higher. You guys saw that. But then this color, I'm packing it right into my crease. I noticed this morning that I have this dark spot here. Guys, this thing was not here yesterday. I was just like, I don't know. I'm so, so annoying to myself sometimes. I had a tiny little breakout there and I went and I did what I always tell people not to do. I tried to get whatever was inside that spot or pimple, whatever out. And it wasn't even like, I don't know. It was like almost invisible. And then I made it worse. Guys, don't do this. Leave your breakouts alone. They are going to. They're going to come and go on their own. I looked at myself in the mirror and I don't know, I look like Sunita. If you don't know who Sunita is or what Sunita is, growing up here in Nigeria, like when I was a lot younger, I don't watch Indian movies as much anymore. But I know that when I was growing up, there were a lot of Indian movies at home. And then there was this popular one called Sunita. And I had a lot of adults around me who loved this movie so much. And you see some of them sometimes dress up and they'll put a little dot on their forehead, just like the Indians would do. And there's this song in that movie that goes, Sunita, na 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 na. I don't really know. Nobody, nobody knows the lyrics to the song. But let me tell you the Igbo lyrics to that song is, Sunita ne bakwa. This is literally all I'll hear them say all the time, guys. Nebawa literally means crying. I'm sure that that's not what the lyrics translate to, but you see people all the time, so nita nebakwa, and they're literally singing their hearts out. So nita nebakwa. At this point, I'm going to go in with my NYX jumbo pencil as usual. This one is in French fries. This is literally my favorite jumbo pencil, mainly because it's not the white one. I know that all of us, like we all used to use milk at one point, but let me tell you the thing about milk. Milk is very good for like when you're using a very bright color on your eyelids or on any part of your eyes, but then sometimes it's really, really difficult to blend that milk out and you can leave a very ashy, like white cast and then just, I don't know, makes your eyeshadow not blend out well. But then the thing about French fries is that French fries is almost the same color as my skin tone. The formula is completely different. It's not as drying as milk. Guys, it's about to rain. The weather is getting dark, but we're going to continue with this video. Moving on to another palette. This one is from Makeup Addiction. It's the Mido palette, I think. I'm going to go in with this burnt orange shade here and I'm going to pack this color onto my eyelid with a Sigma E55 shading brush so I want a lot of color it's just easier to go in with a brush that is this thick the colors that you get in this palette the matte the shimmer colors they are so freaking pigmented it's insane the colors remind me a lot of GVS place I will not even be surprised if someone told me that they all make their products in the same place because the consistency the formula the pigmentation that you get the same man the same going back to the Huda Beauty palette I'm going to take a little bit of saffron this is a dark plum like kind of wine red shade and I'm going to use this to add some depth focusing in this area I'm not gonna apply too much so as I'm putting it here I'm kind of bringing it down to the lid as well this shade here is called desert sand the brush is my Sephora precision eyeshadow brush I'm going to use this to set the concealer that I have on my brow bone area this is the controlled blender by makeup addiction I'm going to go in with blazing the first color that I used and I'm going to use it to dust off the fallouts that I got from applying this color and also use it to blend out where my transition color meets my brow bone color. So I'm going to line my eyes now. This is a pen liner by Pixie. This is from their collaboration with Weili Hoang. I'm going to use this to line my eyes. I'm 
uh, I'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera, but this liner is not matte. I don't even know why this eye kind of looks a lot more matte than this one does. But with this eyeliner, you tend to get a little bit of sheen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take an angled brush. This one is the Sigma E65. And this is a black eyeshadow from my Sephora Pro Pigment Palette in Warm. And I'm going to apply this brown over that sheen that I'm seeing to tone it down. I don't want it to be that glossy. To prep my lashes for the falsies that I'm going to use, I'm applying mascara. This is my favorite mascara of all time. This is my Clinique High Length Mascara. The wand that you get with this mascara is very good for people who have curly lashes. I say this all the time. But just in case you forgot, the reason why I love it is so good. I'm going to use this pair of lashes that I got from AliExpress. Quick story, guys. Um, I had an event on Sunday, so I was going to the same event as Kanye. If you guys don't know who Kanye is, Kanye is my friend, Kanye Smith. So I put my lashes on, did my makeup, and I was heading to this place in Ikeja. Got to Third Mainland, and it felt like my lashes were falling off. I'm not joking. It literally felt like my lashes were about to fall off, and I don't know why. You know when you put lashes on, and then the con, like the bit in the corner here, it's not sticking down. It happens to me all the time. But then I had an entire event to go to and then this was happening to me. So I called K or King they called. I can't remember who called each other. So we were talking to each other and I was like, girl, where are you? She said she's still at home. I'm like, please bring me lash glue. And she brought her lash glue for me. This one is from her brand. It's my extensions. Normally I'll use the two eyelash adhesive, but guys, this lash glue is the truth. It's so good. It's one of those ones that the bluer it gets because it's white when you apply it, but then as it's drying down, it gets a little bit blue. So you would know that it's tacky when you're seeing more of blue than you're seeing like white if that even makes any sense I don't know if I can show you guys let me wait till it gets blue but this is what it looks like close up now so I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit blue and show you guys what it looks like and I don't even know how I left the house without lash glue I always leave the house with lash glue that day I forgot because I was rushing I don't know if you guys can see but then a little bit of blue it's there's a lot of blue now with the white. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera. When it starts getting like this, it's time to put your lashes on. So I'm like, I love this pair of lashes so much. It's like drama the way that I want it. I got it from AliExpress. I'll try and see if I can put a link in the description box, but you should go watch the video of me trying AliExpress makeup for the first time. I added a link in that video. For this lashes so check that out but this pair of lashes doesn't even have a name it's like in the number d22 i think it's d22 and if i were to give this lashes a name it would be joy it gives me joy i'm gonna line my waterline with my mac it's the technical eyeliner kajal graph black I'm going to go back in with the eyeliner and i'm going to use this to hide the band of the lashes just make sure that that area is completely black to prime, I'll be using my Too Faced Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. This primer is the Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer, infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It actually smells like peach. Peach. <laughs> it actually smells like peach. This is one of my favorite primers in the world. It controls oil, and my foundation lasts all day. Okay, all day. Since this is a summer glowy type of makeup look, you actually want your foundation to last all day. So I'd highly recommend that for this type of look that you go in with something that would help keep your oil away. And one of my favorite drugstore foundations like that, and I have combination to oily skin in case you're new here and I have not used any drugstore foundation that has controlled oil the way that this foundation controls oil. And it's the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. If you've been watching me for a while, you already know how much I love this. The only thing about this foundation, the only downside is the fact that they don't have an extensive shade range. So I'm in between shades. I'm in between um, dark two. No, it's actually on the cover. The numbers are not behind, they're on the covers. I'm in between Caramel Dark two and Coco Dark three. I am going to just apply Coco, the darker one, on the outer parts of my face, okay? And then on the center of my face, I'm going to apply more of dark to caramel. The good thing about this is that it layers really well. Blending this out is so easy. If you're blending out a liquid foundation, you have to take your time or else you're going to have streaks. With this, you're not gonna get streaks. Okay, I'm going to contour with my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Espresso. 
To highlight, I'll be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Deep Tan. My beauty blender is already wet, I already wet it earlier. But then I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus Gold Light. So this is the one that has the gold specks in it. I'm going to spray my beauty blender with this just because I want, you know, the gold bit that you get with this to just transfer to my skin. Um, setting with my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder. I'm going to use this everywhere that, you know, I apply the concealer. Going to use my Milani pressed powder in Earth Glow and my Sigma um, small contour brush in F05. And I'm going to use this to set my contour. So to set my entire face, this is my Iman pressed powder in Earth Medium. The smudge brush and this one is from Sephora. I'm going to take this color here, the same one that I use on my eyelid and I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line. So with this very small crease brush, I'm going to take this gold here and I'm going to apply it on my tear duct area. I'm going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes. This one is my Inglot Lash Enhancer Mascara. Going to add some color to my cheeks. I'll be using this one here. This is from my Zoeva Aristo blush palette and this is my Real Techniques blush brush. My highlighter for this look is from Colourpop and this one is from the Colourpop X Shayla collection. This one is Pose. So this is my ABH 823 brush. I'm going to apply this on the apple of my cheeks. Almost done. I actually love the way that everything is looking right now. I'm going to line my lips first. This is NYX's lip pencil in brown. You can use any brown lip pencil that you have for this. I'm going to use um, Colourpop's lipstick in Ooh. <laughs> So over that, I'm going to apply one of my favorite glosses from ABH. This one is in Sunset Strip. The combo is good, but I feel like it looks a little bit too nude for me right now. I want to apply something that will highlight the middle of my lips. So let me find another gloss. This is another lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this one is in Butterscotch, okay? So this is the finished look. I just wish that I didn't have to use four lip products to achieve this. You don't need to, in all honesty. Keep Sunset Strip, I think, and move straight to Butterscotch. It's going to give you a finish that is a lot better. So I'm going to do my hair really quickly, change my outfit, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I really love the embroidery that I have on my shirt. It's so gorgeous and so lush. I really like the way that it turned out. The look, as you guys can see from the close-up that I'm showing you guys right now, you know, this is the... You know, the sexy shots that you insert at the end of every makeup tutorial, the cute shots. I love the way that everything turned out. And moving on to my outfit, everything that I'm wearing right now is from Zara. The top is from Zara. The skirt is from Zara. The slippers are from Zara. The bag, I got it from a store in Enugu and it wasn't that expensive. I'm going to put their details in the description box. I hope that you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to follow me on other social media. Instagram and Twitter is Dimmaomi on both. Follow me there so that I just keep up with what I'm doing in my life outside of YouTube. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.